talking about Bob Woodward's audio tapes of you know who admitting he was playing down the pandemic. And some people are saying he should have released these tapes sooner. But do you believe that would have made a, a, a big difference, Megan? I, I, yeah, I mean, that's a big question going around, and he's very defensive about it. If, you know, this this information is this damaging, I do think the American public had the right to know. Um, not to shift it a little bit, but there's also some pretty intense information about North Korea and the idea that we could have gone to war with North Korea uh, much quicker and that Mattis was apparently sleeping in his clothes, preparing. I mean, there's some stuff in this that the American public definitely had the right to know. And I, I'm not a journalist. I've never claimed to be. I think Sonny can comment on this better than I can. But I, I I do think it's malpractice he didn't release this sooner. I I agree with you, well, Megan. I, 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 I kind of feel like even if he had... Oh. Sorry, well, B, I... Go ahead. I, I feel like you, you, you can't know this information and not say something. I know at one point Mr. Woodward said that, you know, he had to verify that it was all true, but every day people <laughs> broadcast and they disclaim, we have not verified this with our own independent sources, or there are tons of disclaimers, but I don't think I could have slept at night knowing that this was coming without warning people. Even when there's a fire in a building, you say, go to the exits calmly, but you tell them there's a fire, like you don't not tell them. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I, I find that... Bob Woodward is, is partially responsible, as well as anyone else that was privy to this information and didn't speak up. See, and that's what I find fascinating about people it. People on the to... perpetrator. Sorry? <laughs> exactly. People seem to be angrier no. with Bob no. Woodward Not angrier. than they President are with Trump, the very president. President Trump, first with and foremost. The president. President Trump, first and foremost. The buck stops here, and it all trickles down from there. But I'm saying there's response. There's enough to go around here, guys. Like, when you look at what's happened no. in this country, I think anyone that knew and didn't speak up has something, some skin in the game. But, the pres why, but, why but Bob it? Woodward, is every, true to form, why has to verify... Sonny, we report... Bob Woodward, yes. has, as a journalist, That's has it. to verify the accuracy of the statements. That, that is true, and Sarah, you know that. And the other thing is, it was the onus was on the President of the United States to warn the That's country the about the global I pandemic agree with you. that Sunny, was going yeah. on that led to you. the death of 200,000 people. That wasn't up to uh, Bob no, Woodward. It was up to the president. Uh, 100%. Sunny, I agree that the president... Say something, Sunny, honey, what would you have done? Okay, well, guys, guys, guys slow down, because there's too many. Can I just say one thing? Sure. Mm -hmm. One of the things that he says is he didn't want to panic people, okay? We all know he's the panic king. The hordes are coming in, the Mexicans are rapists, et cetera, et cetera. But there are other countries in this world that told their people the truth and did not panic. So stop with the panic baloney. Yeah. That's another point I wanted to make, okay? He you tell the truth, and then we deal with it. And you know what? I think for myself, I don't have to wait for Bob Woodward to tell me that that was a dangerous virus. March 13th, I was out of there, okay? And I'm not coming back un until it's complete, completely over. And everybody should do the same thing. Stay home. But releasing the tapes and what the president said himself is just releasing what he said. It's not saying I'm going to go verify. People report every day, all the time, saying we have not confirmed the truth of it. No one was to know. What's but the point? he had information from science. That's all I'm saying is I could not have slept at night sitting on tapes where the president himself said that. President Trump is first to blame. I 100% concur that. I agree with you completely on but that. But you know he's, you know, but Sarah, you know he's a criminal from other behavior. Yeah. You didn't need to hear those tapes right. for that. Come on. No, I absolutely well, agree that he's the first one to blame, Joy. I'm just I, saying I that I couldn't have known it and, and slept on it. Yeah, that's the but part that I bothers me as well. I think the point is, like, there's a bunch of people in the Washington Post that knew. Dr. Fauci, again, I'm still going to keep talking about what he did and didn't know. Dr. Burks, who are these people? I mean, there's been a lot of criticism all the way around. As Whoopi said, we have handled this terribly. We have, and we continue to handle it terribly. And I think there's a lot of responsibility to blame. Yes, the buck stops with the president, but I'm, who's going to trust? If, God yeah. forbid, another pandemic breaks out, who are we going to trust? Like, there, I don't trust anybody I think at this point. Go ahead, Sonny. Ghostbusters. I think Dr. Fauci was the president of the teller that we had.